Scotland's cabinet convened this morning. Yes, they want another referendum, but not quite like this, and so soon. The spin today, Scotland's government's upbeat, united, and the country's open for business as usual. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon keen to distance Edinburgh from what she called the power vacuum of London and seeking immediate talks with the EU and key influencers. Cabinet agreed that we will seek to enter into immediate discussions with the EU institutions and with other EU member states to explore all possible options to protect Scotland's place in the EU. Scottish Tories already insist there's no call for another independence referendum, but some signs tonight that Scottish Labour may not reject the idea altogether. So what we need is a period of calm, uh, deep thought and consideration about the impact uh, on the economy, on jobs, on workers' rights, the length and breadth of Scotland. Labour Party's manifesto position going into the last Scottish Parliament election was that we opposed a second referendum on independence. Not likely to change that any time soon. Outside Edinburgh, the vast 176th Royal Highland Show is underway. On parade, Laertes, the overall winning bull. Some things, of course, never change, like the parade of champions here at the show. But for Scotland, for this country, the political landscape is radically altered. Though the word, if it's anything to go by from people here visiting the show today, take your time and think hard. Even Laertes finding it difficult to keep all feet on the ground in these turbulent times. I think it's quite soon. I'm sure Nicola Sturgeon would like to have more time. Nicola Sturgeon is saying that yes. there needs to be another referendum now for independence. I think that's inevitable. Inevitable? Yes. I think we'll have to wait and see what happens. I think it'd be probably better to let things settle down for them. But yesterday's historic events have already changed some minds. I was a no voter last time, and if there was a vote today, I would vote yes. Well, last time voted out, and I think this time vote in, if it meant going into the EU again. I was yes before, and I would still be yes, yes now. The smart money says yes to a referendum, but for poll-weary Scots, there is a respite. It's probably not imminent. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Edinburgh.